So now we come to our conclusion. In the conclusion, we really have two main parts. First of all, what I really need to do is repeat the main ideas. I need to say these main ideas in a different way, using synonyms if I can, to actually show that I understand what I'm talking about and to prove that I know what these ideas are and I can say them in different ways. But also, I need to make the reader remember what were some of the key points which were from the essay. So what I'm doing there is I'm rephrasing the key points of each body paragraph. So I'm going to talk about uh, the key points in, of portability, of features and price. So I will repeat those three ideas. Then I'm going to finish with a future statement. So often it's good to sort of say that, OK, we've given you all this information in our essay. According to all this information, this is my prediction, or this is what I think will happen in the future. So again, based on your essay, give a prediction about the future. Once again, I need to state that this is a very simple example. However, we do use the same structure in a longer essay form as well. So in conclusion, there are three significant benefits for people who choose mobile devices. Mobility, which means portability. Functionality, which is a, is a synonym for features and low cost, which we've talked about in terms of price. So that's repeating the main ideas. Now, in a, in a longer essay, you could draw these out. You could have one sentence or two sentences about that, one or two sentences about that, and one or two sentences about that. I do, however, need my future statement or prediction. In the future, comma, people around the world will continue to appreciate these devices for the benefits they bring. OK, so again, I've got this future statement which talks about what I think will happen in the future. And this is a very simple future statement. In a more sophisticated essay, you'll have a more complex idea. So there we go. We've repeated the main ideas. And then we've given our future statement. And that's a nice, neat structure for a conclusion.